Tonight, the war in Ukraine is stretching into its fourth costly and violent month. Talking to kids about war certainly isn't easy, but that's the reality for millions of parents, both here in Charlotte and around the world. Today at Ramir Bearden Park in Uptown, a family-oriented rally was held to raise awareness, awareness and money for Ukraine. Queen City News reporter Sydney Heiberger was there and joins us live from the park. And Sydney, this was certainly a different rally than what we've seen recently. Morgan, that's right. It was all about kids and family today with several different activities while, of course, still raising money and awareness about the situation overseas. Now, talking to kids about wars can be incredibly difficult, not only for Ukrainian families, but for American families who are seeing this issue unfold on their TVs. But it's an important topic to discuss nonetheless. Through dancing, Hallelujah. singing, and art. If it weren't for a sea of yellow and blue, you wouldn't be able to tell that behind this gathering lies a somber reality. One day she wake up and said, hey, uh, I have a nightmare and I saw Putin and he says that he will kill me. Stop that war! Marina Fostango and her kids fled their home in Ukraine just two weeks ago. She says it's a hard situation to grasp herself, let alone explain to her kids. Of course they said it, is, it was their home, they loved it. They had friends and uh, school and everything. We hope to return and we just tell them to kids that it is temporary. The experts say when it comes to broaching the subject with kids, it's important to first make sure you've processed the information yourself. Then comes age appropriate conversations with very deliberate wording. You say that conflict happens between friends, siblings, and parents, and there's conflict resolution skills or strategies to overcome conflict. But unfortunately, there's conflict between countries, which can lead to physical violence, which we classify as a war. Another strategy, helping kids express themselves in ways that work for them. Oskana Luchevska is a Ukrainian children's author who wrote a book comprised of letters to Ukrainian soldiers during Russia's annexation of Crimea in 2020. 2014. She still uses those letters to reach children in Ukraine today. Children in Ukraine are very happy to read them now because it helps them to produce their own response to war. We are reading the letters so they can write their own letters and feel a kind of release. Yeah, another piece of advice that child mental health counselor gave is to continue to monitor your child's social media and TV intake, of course, to make sure that what they're seeing is age appropriate. I'm live in Uptown, Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News.